That covers everything we needed to discuss. Anyone have any objections? None here. Same. A perfect plan as always. Mm, love clocking out early. Hey, how about we order out and knock back a few cold ones here at the hideout? That's a great idea. I'm always game for any invitation to drink. We have been leaving right after our meetings lately. I suppose it's fine once in a while. Count me in. I'm pretty hungry. Sure, why not? <laughs> that settles it. Am Saul and I can grab the grub. What do you want to eat? I got a hankering for steak myself. Big, tender, and dripping with meat juice. I want steak too. I would prefer something a bit lighter. How about fish? Fish sounds good. I had steak for lunch. I think I'll have fish too. Say what? And you call yourselves men? Why not just buy both? It's bad enough we'll be buying booze by the barrel thanks to Vi. We should probably keep the rest of the order simple. I'd rather not increase the number of us going to the store. As a precaution, it's better that we're not seen together. True. One side has to yield, then. The majority says fish. You should concede to us, Basil. I. Don't. Wanna. Plus, Vi's on my side. True gentlemen ought to concede to a lady's tastes. Besides, fish meat's practically a vegetable. I want steak, a real man's meat. <clears throat> all right, all right. We'll settle this the usual way. Got it? <laughs> Damn Skippy. Steak or fish, what'll it be? Let's leave it up to Lady Luck. So be it. Go for it. Hmm. What's up, Vi? Something on your mind? Oh, no, not really. I was just wondering when we started deciding things with a coin toss. Oh, that was... Hey, you forgot already? The first coin toss was over what to play when we were kids. Wait, that's incorrect. It was when we argued over the name of this hideout. What are you talking about? The first time we did it was to decide what colored bouquet to give Miss Maria. <laughs> I can't believe you guys. Those are all completely different incidents. Hell nah, my mind's a steel trap. Come on, guys, remember? We used to fight over playing tag or playing house, yeah? Saul wanted to play house, so I called him a girl. Then he started crying and turned it into a big freaking deal. That's when someone said we should flip a coin. The rest is history. You're the one who needs to remember. It was when we were exploring the ruins. We found this place and were trying to decide what to call it. Amlet, Violet, and you wanted hideout, while Freet and I wanted secret base. Neither side would yield. That was the first incident we started using the coin toss. I'm telling you, it was when we couldn't decide on Miss Maria's birthday present. We couldn't decide whether a red or blue bouquet best suited her. No one would budge. That's the first fight we solved with a coin toss. <laughs> I remember how you were oddly worked up about that, Am. You insisted that Miss Maria would look better with blue. You could have left that part out. Okay, well, let's put that particular mystery aside for now. Agreed. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's choose if we'll have steak or fish quickly. Do it, Baz. Alrighty. Heads for steak, tails for fish. No hard feelings. Now, let's do this. It's heads! Real meat it is! Savory, succulent steak! Rules are rules, Saul. <sighs> so be it. However, we're buying plenty of vegetables to eat on the side, Basil. Sure, whatever. Come on, ladies. Let's bring home the bacon. Good grief. If we didn't have the coin toss, we might never stop fighting. Anyway, I wonder who first suggested we use it. I can't seem to remember that either. I did. Really? Miss Maria gave me this book, an adventure story, and I fell in love with the main character. Anytime he and his friends disagreed, they'd flip a coin to decide what to do. When I told you all about it, we started doing it too. Oh, I remember that book. The one that went, heads or tails, no hard feelings, right? Yep, that's what the main character always said. I read one of those parts to you all. Everyone liked it, so we decided to solve our own arguments with a coin toss too no matter how big or small. So that's how it went. We should be thanking you then. Because of that rule, we haven't gone our separate ways, even with all our bickering. <laughs> True.
truth is, the real reason I suggested it is because of something Miss Maria said to me. Oh? We'd often read that novel together. When we reached the coin toss scene, she saw how absorbed I was, patted my head and said, try to be like the main character. In other words, to be the kind of person who watches out for their friends no matter what, who sticks with them. I promised her I would. Now that I'm older, I finally understand. I think she was worried that one day we might have a fight that split us apart. We were orphans, the only family we had. Without each other, we'd have no one. <laughs> so if you're going to thank anyone, thank Miss Maria. It's because of her that we've stayed together all these years. I see. Miss Maria really has taught us so many things. Wait a minute. Since you clearly remember who told us about the coin toss, that means you also remember why we started using it in the first place. Whoops, you got me. I knew it! So why didn't you say it sooner? I was going to, but none of you would budge. And I was hungry. That's the reason? Jeez, you really do things at your own pace. Now stop keeping it to yourself and tell me what it is. Okay, okay. As soon as everyone's back. Looks like we'll be walking down memory lane tonight. <laughs> <laughs>